hey guys so uh, welcome to this video and in this video we are going to talk about advanced backdoor in the previous video we talked about a basic backdoor in one of our previous video uh, that was created in python now this one is also in python but this is a bit more advanced in the previous one we were not able to see on our screen that if the command has been executed or not we were only able to have the command prompt access but in this we have uh, more things added like key loggers and screenshot programs and more of like it okay so let's see how it works okay if you haven't watched the previous video please do have a look at that because that will help you understand this one much better okay because uh, almost of these are connected the same soccer program socket programming and some of the additional files these are some additional files which are like you will get these programs on instagram if you follow some of the python page they will tell you how to take screenshots how to uh, key log or something like that the, all of those programs are added into one and made this one backdoor which is a better good one advanced one so let's run our uh, program on the victim machine so this is the victim machine running windows and this is the attackers machine running kali linux on a virtual machine now you can say like that uh, this is in sense two different uh, operating systems so we can just play the game till we get the connection it will take a more than bit of time that to get the connection we can also quit the game and then also we will have the connection no issues with that so you can see that uh, we can execute commands of the system like this is the laptop and the profile is of strange you can see okay we can execute more commands if we check out for help this is a good one thing that's added in this program like this provides the all of the logs that can be taken and used for help like quit clear cd screenshot upload files and names download files key log start key log dump key log stop well persistence is not covered in this video because this is a very advanced thing this is the thing like you can create your own persistent in the victim machine so that even the uh, victim's machine is restarted you will re-get the connection from the victim's machine okay like uh, this program will start running on its own as soon as the windows system has been started this is a kind of a botnet okay this thing if you don't know what is botnet then you can do a research that is something very interesting well we are not going to talk about that so for just an example let's have a look at this screenshot okay so we'll say just screen and shot before we uh, press the button let's have a look at this time okay 1744 and february wednesday so that you can see that it's not in the directory or i can just show you the files okay so inside advanced backdoor we have nothing like an image okay so these are the uh, ico and files are for creating the exe so no need to worry about that as soon as we press a screenshot it will say, uh, take some of the time to transfer all of the files and send it to the user machine uh, attackers machine okay so have a look at this and just have a closer look at the time okay 1745 1745 okay and all of the files running and all the files running so that you can be proved that this is just taken right now okay so this is how uh, all of these uh, programs in this backdoor will work you can use clear to clear the screen and again help to get all of the commands that you need to use i'm not going to show for the keylogger because it is a bit of slow like keylog dot start takes about uh, 15 to 20 seconds for me it can be faster for you or it can be more slower for you so i'm not going to show all of these so just uh we can also use quit to quit this and we lost the connection and we cannot regain the connection if we haven't created the persistence okay the use uh, victim needs to rerun the game so for now let's uh, pause on this and let's have a look at the files okay so this is the snake game in this we have uh, the imported json the process os pi auto gui for the game and shrutil for around somewhere here okay we'll see onto it as soon as we go below okay 
because i don't remind myself while i have put in that now this is uh, the JS, uh, reliable send now this json data has the purpose to encode all of the data that has been transferred now if we don't have this we will use uh, we will need to have to write this on everywhere we want to get or send, receive or send the data like uh, if we want to send the screenshots then we need to add in code right here and that will be really messy because that will create a kind of uh, confusion in the program and because of that a situation can be created where the connection can be lost so we are using json for encoding and decoding of the data now then we have this so that we can ensure that the data is stored in a variable called data and when it's true like if it's creating a data then we have to ensure that data is uh, receiving and decoding it using the json files right here okay now it's using 1024 uh, encryption and then json.loads to load all of the data at once like it can connect all of the data and present all of the connected data at once like it will not present in you like in binary okay then an exception for value errors then it is for download files like if you uh, just want to download any files from the victim's machine then this is the thing that will set for it now this will open for the file name and then it has a timer to set out for one like if it doesn't find follow file then it will keep running okay so this is the timeout so that if it doesn't file uh, finds a file in one second then it will present like this okay then it has to receive in 1024 base and while chunk it has to write all of it and then it has to try to receive and as soon as it is receiving it will receive all of them and then connect them all up to present a proper data then this is for uploading files like it will open the files from your system and then it will send it to the victim this is for a screenshot if you have uh, known to this python then you will know that we can use python gui for screenshots there are more lengthy programs for screenshots you can give it a try on your own like creating your own screenshot programs and then taking a uh, use of it then this is for persistent machine now we are not having a good focus on this we will be seeing on this a bit later this has only a purpose to create a folder on any specified path and using strutel to copy and share files to make a person on the region as a software microsoft windows current version so that it can make sure that whenever the windows rerun it will run on its own so we'll uh, just uh, leave it for now we will explore this one and the streaming uh, part in the another video now this is for connection of the server and the victim this is using uh, the socket programming okay this is the ip and this is the port this is not creating the connection the connection will be defined here okay like uh, the socket connection and this is for making sure that the connection takes place into the shell of the command prompts now if the connection is not proper then it will close the connection and break and provide an exception now this is the shell where you will type all of your commands like quit background help clear cd upload download screenshot or whatever this is the purpose okay this is created with l if statements it has all of the purpose like if command is background then pass if uh, help pass clear pass now this is because in help you can see we have for help right here so in that victim machine we don't need to provide anything if you have cd then this is the program on the victim machine that needs to run on the shell like if you run this program on the command prompts you will get to know that how it's working then this is for downloading files okay this works on the sockets if you are good with socket programming then you will understand it much better now this download files and upload files work on the socket programming this is screenshot is to run the screenshot okay like the screenshot program is uh, the screenshot is defined here okay it's a kind of uh, function created so we can uh, use that function to run when the screenshot is then said now after it has been taken it will upload the file as a name of screen.png and then remove that screenshot from the victim's machine 
then we have this one which says uh keylog dot start uh, keylog underscore start to start the keylogger okay now this has to be started in threading so that it can run in background right and then it will say keylogger started as it will be started okay keylogger is defined in another program but we uh, we don't want it to be in another one so what we will do we will just copy this from here okay and we will paste this on snake game we will paste it right here so for that we will say define a screen sorry define keylogger okay and there we go we will say paste it we need to uh, give a tab okay because we are pasting this this forgot to have the tab and now we are done we will save this now we have defined keylogger in the same program we don't need this one to be taken in use so we'll remove it and now we can take the use of keylogger in the same program like this is the keylog and this will run the keylogger as soon as the keylog start has been presented then we have keylog dumps this will present all of the recorded keylogs of the victim this is keylogger dot uh, keylog dot stop to stop the keylogger like keylog dot self destruct for uh, putting the destruction then we have persistence we don't uh, we haven't talked much about it so we'll skip this then we have sent all now this is something like this will uh, send all of the files all every files in this windows machine to the uh, user or the attacker okay and this is the else condition in, in which this has to execute the shell commands and steady out this is a kind of like uh, running the command prompt com uh, pro prompts okay like if any if any of these commands doesn't match then it will run on the shell like who am i or uh, ip configs or uh, any of that commands which are not related to this will run on this cmd shell okay then this is for the socket connection and this is the additionally game okay this is the server.py file the server file in this we have defined uh, used json for the same purpose like receiving and sending data okay the json is defined here like for uh, collecting the data and putting it to encode and decode okay we have this one for upload files like if we want to upload files from our uh, the attacker's computer to the victim's computer for that we have download files to download the files from the uh, victim's machine then we have all of these uh, defined commands so that we can take use and this is the part which is ensuring for the connection of the victim's machine with the ip and the ports okay now one more in, the most important thing is the ip okay this ip on the server and uh, the user or the victim must be same okay these are not same in my scene because i use the server file on the linux machine and not on the windows machine so this is the ip of the uh, linux machine that i used the attacker and the same ip was or must be on this place okay make sure to have it or else it will cause you a very big problem now this snake game setup.py is something that is used for creating the exe file now if you don't know how to create exe file you can check out the previous video in which um, you know uh, everything was told like how you can create the exe how you can execute it how you can share it so you can check out that video okay so hope you understood that how it's working and you can now take the use of this you can get this co codes on the github link will be in the description and thank you for watching this video and uh, make sure to do subscribe and share this with your friends